I'm sorry, Um, the one suggestion I have for myself, though, uh, about my workout is I need more range of motion on those lunges. Um, I was really already not feeling good, or still not feeling good, I shouldn't say already. And I think I should have gone lighter and gotten more of a range of motion and then went heavy again next time. Um, I know, like, 20 pounds dumbbells and 15 pounds dumbbells is not, like, that heavy, but... Uh, for fall lunges, when you are sore from five on the mountain, it is. So, um, today I'm going to show everything I eat. Uh, I did not show my weigh-in yesterday, and the reason is, well, I might show it sometime today. Um, I gained weight back, so since I'm being honest about that, I can probably go ahead and show that video. I'll just put that, well, one more stipulation. It also ended up recording sideways, so it's going to look really funny, but I'll still put it in right here. back up to like 190 and I need to make some dietary changes. That way if I have another hard week where I'm not exercising like I should be, or like I want to be, I can still lose weight instead of gain. So, um, it's just real nice about women's weight because he knows it's a sore subject for us. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and look at what I'm eating today. Okay, I'm starting with my new ninja. I'm putting four cups of water. So let's see, two weeks. Uh, people with fibromyalgia are not good at doing things one-handed. I suppose if you practice, 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 it takes a lot more practice. That's about a cup, maybe a cup and a half of dates. So I'm going to let those soak for like 10 minutes and then I'll be back. Look at that. <laughs> I, won't be, I won't be using that one. It's like um, liquefied on the inside and ooh, so gorgeous. That one goes to the bin. Oh my gosh, I missed. Oh, I split open. <gasps> Gross. It's so juicy. Oh my gosh. Ew. Alright. <laughs> that one's gonna go in there. Oh. Mm. Let's see here. Okay, one handed stuff here. Not the easiest. Oof, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm not going to. Okay. It's open. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm gonna add a teaspoon of maca. Oh my gosh, it's an easy one. That's only reason that left top. for our immune system and fertility. That doesn't look very attractive. <laughs> looks like something that's been left. It looks like something that's been left for a while, like science experiment on fermentation or something like that. But that's blendy blendy. I'm also having one of these Ezekiel um, muffins, like English muffin. It's gluten-free, sprouted, there you go, sprouted green, yes, yes, that will work. so good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gonna get that all in my belly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's so good. I'll show you when I have the English muffin ready. My breakfast. So, 
I split I split a tablespoon of almond butter between these and not even a teaspoon of agave. Just trying to get that even. It's fine. Um, so there's my breakfast, an English muffin with almond butter and agave and a huge smoothie. Um, I already drank like a third of it, so yeah. So I'm making vegan chicken salad and in here there is a couple of leaves of kale cut up, a tomato, a tiny piece of onion, some shredded carrot, and a whole small head of romaine. There's that. Just trying to kind of hand mix this before I put anything else in. Here's what I'm putting into my vegan chicken salad. I'm putting just a little bit of this really good vinaigrette, a little bit of Dijon, and some veganaise. Probably like two tablespoons, one tablespoon, one tablespoon. Putting in some onion and garlic also. Ugh, not good one-handed. Can't. Oh, I got it. I got it. Oh my gosh, I got it. Unbelievable. Just a little bit. Um, I can't do a grinder one-handed. So, blend this stuff before I try to mix it in so that it's like evenly distributed. Okay, I'll be back. There is the Gardein tender, I mean, scallopinis. I used two, so I'm gonna mix that into there now. It's time to taste my chicken salad. There it is. Mm, yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. Hello. It is the next day, and I did not show you every meal yesterday. I had a rough day. So I'm continuing into today, Sunday. So this is um, breakfast on Sunday. Um, this is two kale leaves. I'm putting a banana, not quite ripe. I know that, that's, I mean, I don't have a choice right now. And then cherries. water because I started with, I'm guessing I'm still putting in around four cups. So most of that bottom is empty. The heel leaves got stuck by the blades of the blender. I think it needs more liquid than that. So. That was pretty. Look at that. Living food. That is beautiful. Uh, maca, hey, maca root eye. Okay. <laughs> um, there we go. Time to blendy. Okay. Handy dandy locking lid. Power. Oh, that is. Holy crap. Oh, yeah. Those cherry 
these make it so pretty. Even with the kale leaves, that's still really pretty. <clears throat> Crazy. Gotta taste it. I'm going to drink this and then take my dogs again. We are leaving the dog park. There it is. Goodbye, dog park. Goodbye. Low limitation. Look there. So I'm making another salad today. There's a small romaine head there, a couple of kale leaves, some crinkle cut carrots that I sliced. They're the raw ones. Some tomato. I might put a tiny piece of onion. I'm not going to go crazy on it because I'm tired. And then I'll be putting some of these garden tenders, probably four. Yep, I'm gonna put in veganaise, um, mustard, and vinaigrette. And I'm gonna try and keep the amount low. Okay, the, this has onion powder, garlic pepper, grinder, a tablespoon of Dijon, tablespoon of vinaigrette, and two tablespoons of veganaise. The best, best mayo I've ever had in my life. Yep. Now I'm gonna cut up some garden tenders and throw that on there. There it is, all done. Very nice. I'm going to eat that, and then if I'm hungry, I'll eat something else, and you'll see it. I am still hungry. I'm having a sort of a quesadilla. There's about a cup of brown rice there with some fire-roasted tomato and a little bit of this Daya mozzarella, and then half a slice of this, I forget the brand name. It's vegan. It's like tomato pepper or tomato... Chipotle, I don't remember exactly, but um, that's what I'm having. I'm gonna heat that up and eat it. So, yeah. Small, kind of pin them all down, get a lot of railings, broke a lot. I didn't, I'm not gonna say I survived, I'm gonna say I thrived. I met a dolphin down there, and I swear to God that dolphin looked not at me, but into mm. my soul, into my goddamn soul, and, and said, I'm saving you, Megan. That's not good. with his mouth, but he said, it. I'm assuming telepathically. We have a connection that I don't even know if I can explain. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 oh. Aunt Ray, shut my mouth. Look. It's scary. Oh, yeah, that's...
it's a winner. Hi, Joe. Come on. Come on, he said. I can be fast. I'm going to make some more root soup, got my multicolored carrots, got some regular carrots that really need to get used, I have a bunch of radishes, nice big ones, and I've got my organic potatoes from vitamin cottage. I'm going to go ahead and put some mushroom broth and vegetable broth in there. One-handed stuff, not my strong soup. I think I'm going to try to use like half of this and okay. a quarter of the vegetable broth. I don't like it as much. Alright, they're easy open so the lid actually tears it open for you. That's handy. And that's enough of that. And then I'm going to take water and cover just covering all of this. I covered it with water and kind of stir this around so that it's even on the water broth. Alright, it's all just covered. Um, I'm turning it up to high to get it boiling. And then I'm going to turn it down, cover it, and let it simmer. So, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> get to boil. A bit of paprika, onion powder. I do fine with onion powder, I don't do okay with onion. And then I've got some grinders, I've got the garlic pepper Italian, that one's almost empty, so I've also got that one that has more in it. I have to put you down and put those in. And then I have bay leaves. I like the flavor I get from these grinders, but it sure hurts my hands to do it. Got my bay leaves here. I forgot celery flakes, so I threw some in. There they are. Some of them. Um, I added some salt. I added a couple Asian sauces, just a little. They, they do help the flavor, but I don't want it to taste like them. So here's our dinner. This is the soup. All done. I already know I really like it. So with that, I'm going to say please like, subscribe, and comment. Have a beautiful night.